Down there, please. Well, I don't know, Tessa, if you feel a lot better with that little pat on the head you got from Ian, um, but there are people in this country, 13 million people, who are now below the poverty line. One million people in one of the richest countries in the world face the indignity of relying on food banks. My full-time job is actually in mental health. I have seen myself how people have become suicidal. I have had to um, counsel people who have lost their loved ones who said they did not want to be a burden on their own families because the support has been taken away. These are very, very real issues. And it's been done in the name of austerity, and we've had this drive of people being called scroungers. When actually half the people on benefits are pensioners, our pensioners in this country are not scroungers. And the Liberal and, Democrats and in this, because you answer your and own questions all the time. And 60% of people claiming <laughs> benefit are in work. Yes. It's because the wages are not paying enough Did you say to feed their families. 13 million people are below the 13 poverty million line. 13 people. million people. Can, can you One million for, and yet at, I'm sitting next to Ian Duncan Smith, who quite happily labels the poor people as scroungers. I've never when you labeled claim, them scroungers. I when have you never, claim, ever labelled them When you claim £39 pounds just for a breakfast, no, like really? you can't afford your no, own breakfast, no, when you live on your no, wife's estate breakfast. and have taken £1.5 oh, yeah. million Honestly, pounds of taxpayers' money, what of that's what nonsense. I call scrambles. That's nonsense. what I call no, shirts. No, 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 no. All right. All right. Well, OK, Sam, well, you had to...